the medieval roundhouse finally gets a roof. One of the last things we need in preparation of the build is a solid ladder to reach the top of the roof. For the ladder side poles I use fresh cut large, known as a great construction wood. And I'll be making the steps from seasoned ash. Enjoy! Take care about nature. Like all other builds around our bushcraft camp, no synthetic cordage is needed. So this time I'll be making a bushcraft ladder put together just with dovetail wood joints. This kind of ladder can just be made in the field with basic bushcraft cutting tools. Axe, saw and knife. Although I will also be using chisel and drill for convenience. But I will also show how the process is done without those extra tools.
dovetails on either side in now. Uh, 12 steps and we're at the last one. I'm thinking to do one more step here at the end. But I'm thinking how to do this now. Um, I could put the step in from above. But I'm afraid it might easily split in that way. So I think the best thing to do is still drill a hole. And that way the wood is the least compromised and, and would split in. If you wouldn't have a drill then I'd say you would just saw them off here and you leave at least this much space to uh, keep the wood from, from splitting in here, you know. Um, drill, I guess going all the way through on the outer bit with this one, it's a little thick for that. So I do the first part with a thick drill, this size, and then uh, the most part with the small bit. And then I, I make a sort of conical hole. So let's do that. Folks, turn out well, ladder with dovetail joints, 13 steps, uh, this one has 6 of them, 7, 7 steps, so much lighter, um, it's a hustle to carry this one around, but it should just about be doable. This one was made with auger holes, and honestly it was so much more hustle aligning all the auger holes perfectly on this one. And especially with the with the steps not going all the way through, because I only made them half through, and you could hardly see what what was going on, uh, what has to be adjusted to make it all fit. But this one was very convenient to to put together in the end. Although of course the dovetail joints making is a, was a lot more work than building a few auger holes. 
So it's just another concept. In the end, maybe this might be stronger and sturdier. Um, it could be that, you know, this splits out the wood, the, the main. It doesn't mean the ladder breaks, but the, but the step could come loose. I left the bark on, and this is because this wood is fresh. And uh, for the drying, that way I think it dries out slower. And that way it's less likely to crack, especially in places we don't want it to crack, as it is a ladder. And these joints shouldn't come loose. Um, these are ash steps. They are reasonably seasoned, which is important because uh, if they would shrink, you know, they'd come loose. But that won't be the case. Only this will shrink. Uh, but that's no problem because it's still, it might only get tighter. Hopefully it doesn't crack open. But I think it should just be fine. So the ladder, one of the last crucial parts in uh, preparing for the roofing project. Catching the roundhouse finally after one year. We started the foundation one year ago about. Uh, it had been on hold for a long time to get the reed in. Uh, the reed could only be harvested in the winter. But then finally in the coming weeks uh, the roundhouse series will be back. And uh, in a month hopefully the house is finished. We have a roof on. That would be so exciting. Yeah, schemer. Scheming with his chainsaw. Uh, I see you on the next one. Good boy. Good so. Come on. The medieval roundhouse series is finally back. First crawl. We have officially started the roof. 